Hello one and all, tis I, Ragarath, back again with my Tectonica series. Now you will notice I am in a dark cave, and this is the cave area above the waterfalls that go up to the elevator, and this is where I'm going to start my efficiency series. Now the efficiency I am doing is when you are at max level, and you have everything researched, but I am not turning on core clustering. I'm going to turn core clustering off so that the numbers aren't all mixed up. Core clustering basically will just multiply when you have everything. So everything will just get multiplied by a certain amount. Um, so the numbers will be the same when it's multiplied because they're all like 0.5. Oh no, they're 0 0.05. Okay, so the numbers will change, but we'll have a look at that at some point in this series. Okay, so moving on, the up here we've got an iron node here, which I want to reveal. We have a copper node, oh, judder. We have a copper node over here, and we have a limestone node over the other side of the canyon. And what I want is to build my factory so that the uh, buildings are facing each other across the canyon. I'm going to make it look all nice and pretty whilst we're doing this build. So some of these episodes may be a bit longer. And yeah, I'm going to have conveyors going across. I'm going to try and make this look really smart and technical uh, is what I want to do. But before we do all that, we have a lot of preparation to do. And what I'm going to do is make everything 9x9. Nine nine. I don't want to do 12x12 12 12 or 15x15 15 15 because I'd like 9x9. Nine nine. Um, yeah, that's all, really. So I'm going to go and... Uh, oh, we didn't... Oh, we did. Oh, that's on flatten. Um... 12 by 12. We're not going to do 12 by 12. <laughs> I wonder why we had a 15 by 15. I thought they'd put it in and I'd missed it. Anyway, uh, let's go and start uh, molding all of this out. I will go around all the veins and I'll get back to you after I have completed all of this work because we all know it's quite boring watching someone mole out ground on a video. It's boring doing it yourself, let alone watching someone. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, and I am back after taking a very long time molding things out. As you can see, I built this little bit here. Uh, I did build some smelters to smelt some of the calisite into quicklime so I could build uh, some more of these 3 by 3 floors because I want the 3 by 3 floors to be what I am using. I have connected power across to this... Uh, connection that we had over here just so we got power over here and all of my spare bits uh so all of the limestone etc is over here and all the building parts are over here ready for us as well so today is all about getting this prepared so let's uh first of all fill this in with our floors now i don't want these hanging over the edges so i'm going to try and not go onto these red bits i think what I might do is see how far I can get this to go. Oh, one of the problems, though, is these veins now, because since the new building update, they have allowed you to build through walls. Allowed you to build through walls. They, um, as you see, they, they get lost underneath, and there's no need to build them underneath. Uh, it's just a waste, really, of your resources. So, I'm going to try and not build underneath them. And just build in areas where it's truly visible. Um, like that one there. But this bit, you, you don't really notice that. So, I'm not going to fill that one in. I'm just mad like that. Right. And this one can come all the way to the end. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. We'll fill this one in up to the vein. 
Like so. Right. Now we've got this vein. This one's a bit weird because he's kind of sloped. Uh, I think we definitely need it to about there. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Definitely going to need one there and one there. That works. That works. And come out this way. Do I want one in there? I'm not sure. Let's have a look once we put a few down there. What, what would you think? Mm, I'm going to leave that because that looks quite good to me, I think. And yeah, I think I want one here, though. Even though it is clipping. I think that looks all right. There we go. Right, now let's get as close to these edges as we can without going over them. Oh. Is that over the edge? Uh, it's close enough. That'll be all right. This one will be all right as well, I reckon. I reckon we can bring this one out to here. And we could probably have one there. Don't want one there. Oh, 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 oh. That's wrong. One here, one there. I might put it on these corners, but not now. Uh, we're going there. Let's fill this in right to the edge. Let's have a look here. That one there. Means we need to come back one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Across to there. Looking good. Should we put one on this fit? Yeah. All right, I think I missed a bit over here somewhere. Yeah, because you can definitely have some. Uh, I'm going to put it over that edge there. That looks, looks... Yeah, we're going over that edge too. We're just going to do it. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need a bridge going across here. I think I'm going to have these two points going across for now. Which will then allow us to do this. Okay, so there. Because this was like raised right off the off the ground, so there's no need to worry about clipping into that too much. Brilliant. I'm going to have that one. Maybe off the edge a little bit, but... I think it looks better like that. There we go. All right. And we've got a little bridge. Wonderful. So, as we can see, we have a nice new area for now building our factory. And what we'll do in the next episode is we will have a look at the most efficient way of mining these because I haven't done the maths yet, but I'm going to look at the blast fences versus the Mark II miners and see what the best way or the most efficient way for both of them is to do some mining. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please come back and see the rest of the series. This is going to build up over time. And if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, don't have to, but I'd like you to. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode all. Thanks for watching. Bye.